now this is a question regarding mercury okay so with reference to mercury consider the following statements first statement is mercury is the only metal that is liquid at room temperature second once released into environment mercury bioaccumulates and biomagnifies up in the food chain third statement india is a signatory to minamata convention mercury so these are the three statements they have given in regards to with regards to mercury and why this question is because the third statement it has mentioned that india is a signatory to minamata convention on mercury obviously that's a correct statement and now india is going to ratify this minamata convention on mercury so that's why this question is a relevant question or important question for 2018 prelims okay so let us discuss about this question so mercury is one of the most toxic element okay ever known to human because this mercury will leads to lots of health issues right so mercury is considered by the experts to be one of the most toxic metals known and one once this uh, mercury is related related to the environment that will what accumulate in the bodies of species okay for example mainly in the water bodies okay when water bodies we are having lots of fishes are there this mercury will be accumulated in the water bodies of that species of fishes then that fishes will be eaten by some animals okay or it will be eaten by humans itself okay so by this process that mercury will be accumulated in the bodies of species and that will added to the next trophic levels that means in the food chain this uh, mercury will be transferred to one trophic level to another trophic level that's how food chain is working right so in that process mercury will be added up the concentration of mercury will be added up okay to the next levels so in that process what the bio magnification the bio magnification of mercury will be happened okay happening so in that process by this bio magnification process that mercury will leads to human bodies also and that will leads to some nervous system failures also okay so this kinds of health effects will be, there are lots of health effects on this mercury that's why we are having a especially we are having a uh, separate convention known as minamata convention on mercury okay so this mercury it is the only metallic okay so so here you can see the only here so it is the only metallic element that is liquid at standard conditions for temperature and pressure that is at normal temperature and pressure that means at room temperature and room uh, temperature pressure uh, we can see this metal as liquid state no other metallic element can be seen as liquid in the room temperature and pressure okay so this is the only this is the rarest metal which is exhib exhibiting this feature known as it will be present in the liquid state even in the room temperature okay that's the main point regarding mercury and that's why we are using this mercury in thermometers okay and the main points regarding minamata convention it's a global treaty to protect human health and the environment okay from the adverse effects of mercury so this treaty minamata convention mercury is a global treaty okay it's a global treaty to protect it's an intergovernmental treaty or you can call it as a global treaty like that to protect human health and also for the protection of environment it is not only dealing with humans it's also dealing with environment so that's also main point okay from the adverse effects of mercury so it's a globally legally binded treaty so sometimes ups will be asking uh, it's a legally binded treaty like that statement will be there so that's why i have provided this information also so minamata convention mercury is a legally binding treaty and it was adopted in uh, october 2013 at a conference in uh, kumam to in japan okay at a conference in 2013 october in japan this legally binded treaty was adopted okay also it's a globally by globally legally binded treaty okay so india is a signatory to the convention okay so india is a signatory to this minamata convention on mercury and it was signed in september 13th 2014 on this 2014 september 13th uh, india signed this treaty okay but so far we are not uh, uh, ratified it but now we got note from the ministry in order to notify uh, in order to ratify it okay so india is going to ratify it so this is the current affair the union cabinet chaired by the prime minister has approved the proposal for ratification of minamata convention on mercury okay so we got the approval for ratifying this minamata convention on mercury 
soon we will rectif uh, rectify it. So, this point is also an important one. The convention will be implemented in the context of sustainable development. Okay, so Minamada Convention on Mercury is also dealing with sustainable development concept. So, that is also an important point. And these are some other uh, main provisions of uh, Minamada Convention on Mercury. So, just go through that. Uh, the convention protects the most vulnerable from harmful effects of mercury and also protects the developmental space of developing countries. So, they are also giving on the development okay, area. So, Minamada Convention on Mercury is also concentrating on the development of the country also. Okay. By this Minamada Convention on Mercury, the interest of the poor and vulnerable groups will be also protected. Then, the convention will further urge enterprises to move to mercury free alternatives in products and non mercury technologies in manufacturing process. So, this point is also important. The convention will further urge enterprises to move to mercury free alternatives in their manufacturing process and in products also and non mercury technologies in manufacturing process. So, the major highlights of this convention includes a ban on this new mercury mines. Okay. So, this convention is imposing a ban on new mercury mines. So, that is also an important point. So, the major highlights of the convention includes a ban on new mercury mines, the phase out of existing ones, okay, phase out of existing ones and the phase out and phase down of mercury use in number of products and processes. Okay. And this convention also addresses hindering storage of mercury and its disposal once it becomes waste and sites contaminated by mercury as well as health issues. Okay. So, it also addresses the interim storage of mercury and its disposal once it becomes a waste. Okay. Once it becomes a waste, they will deal with the storage of that and also disposal of that waste, mercury waste. And also they are dealing with the sites contaminated by mercury as well as the health issues. So, these are the main points regarding Minamada Convention. Okay. So, whatever the information you are getting regarding Minamada Convention, just gather it because we can expect a question on Minamada Convention. So, coming to the question again, with reference to mercury, consider the following statement. Mercury is the only metal that is liquid at room temperature. Is it correct? Of course, that is the correct statement. So, we eliminated C and B. Then, once released into environment, mercury bioaccumulates and biomagnifies up in the food chain. That is also correct because it will concentrate on the, it will leads to, uh, it will accumulate in the bodies of species and that will leads to biomagnification bio also, right. So, second is also correct. So, we eliminated A also, we got the answer D, 1, 2 and 3. And third statement is also correct. India is a signatory to Minamada Convention of Mercury. Till now, we are a signatory and we will soon become a uh, ratified country also, okay.